Hi, I'm Matt Caton from The Brain Technologies. This is me, and this is my personal brain. You can download your own personal brain at www.thebrain.com. Personal brain is knowledge management software at its finest. Each individual item in the Plex is referred to as a, being a thought. A thought can represent anything from an actual file or graphic to a web page, email, or just a concept. Clicking on a thought will bring that thought to the center of the Plex and display all of the related information around it. Here you can see I've clicked on land, so land is currently the active thought. Below are all the topics or hobbies that I have that take place on land. To the left I have a series of jump thoughts. In other words, thoughts that are related to land but don't necessarily fall into that land category or thoughts that I just simply want to stand out, such as what I'm going to be doing next year for spring break, or hobbies that involve the water. Above, we have a parent thought. In other words, what was the main topic that this thought fell under? And over on the right, we have a series of sibling thoughts. Sibling thoughts simply share the same parent as the active thought. All thoughts can be associated with any type of file you have on your PC. Therefore, clicking on a web page will open that page in your default browser. As you can see, other thoughts are associated with Word documents or could be associated with spreadsheets, emails, sound files, or even images. Here on my camping thought, you can see I have a link to a couple of checklists as well as the all-important Reserve USA, the website to go to to reserve a campsite in a national campground. Below, I have links to different websites of places I like to go camping. This summer, I'm planning a trip to Sawbill Canoe Outfitters in Minnesota. I'll be going with my friends Jeremy and Tom. While I'm there, my wife and Chrissy Sonic will no doubt be visiting some of the local Minnesota auctions, antiques, and flea markets. I keep track of all the auctions that my wife likes to visit under the antique section, which falls under miscellaneous and comes back to me, the home thought. So let's actually add some content. I have some new pictures of my son Spencer that I'd like to add. So let me go into the pictures area and I'll attach an image to the subject of Spencer playing. I just right click, click on add attachment, and browse to the file I'm looking for. There's Spencer at Grandma's house. I can even leave a note. And I'll timestamp it so I know when I added the actual photo. As you can see in the Add Attachments window, you can also attach URLs, link to existing folder structures you have, or create a new file from scratch. This is just one of the personal brain files that I use for my own personal information. I have several others that I frequent. Area 51 is just a brain file that I have for testing new features and beta releases of the product. Here's where I like to play around with a lot of the finer features of personal brain, such as setting up different themes, or just simply changing the wallpaper to something I've selected on my own. Here's a photo of my dog Millie. I also have more professional brains for keeping track of existing clients, servers, network issues that are going on at the Brain Technologies. This brain is used to support another product we have called EKP. I use this brain to keep track of new builds, feature enhancements for specific clients, as well as their contact information. The possibilities are endless. Download your own personal brain today.